Hi everybody, Jo here again. Welcome to another Technique Tuesday with me. Now today we're going to be looking at panel cards. Now panel cards have been around for years. It's one of those techniques that's been done since, oh, do you know what, I'd love to say the Ice Age, but who knows, it's a long time. And there are various different ways of using panel cards. And the thing I love about panel cards is you can put your own twist on it. So what I thought is I'd run through the basics and just show you a very, very simple panel card. And then we'll look at a few ways of mixing it up. And all it means is creating a panel on your work. So we'll start with a very simple panel going across the card design. So I've just got a piece of card here and I know you're going to ask me the size and I didn't measure it. So this one is five and a half inches by um, eight and it was just a piece of card I've cut, really just to show you um, this, this idea. Now, I'm going to create my panel, so I'm using the grid on my mat. And I'm using my Lavinia low-tack tape. And I always write inside so I know exactly which tape I've, I've got. And I'm just, I'm, as I say, I'm going to have one sort of across here. So to get it straight, we'll just mark up. I think we'll have the top there. And then, and again, you can decide on the width. It could be narrow. I'm thinking, let's go for, there, we'll go for that. And then all I'm going to do is add some ink. And we're just going to add one colour today for this one. And we're using the new elements, the green sleeves. I love this colour. And I'm just going to use one of my larger stencil brushes. And for me, I'm just going to turn my work round just because I find it easier. And I'm just going to start flicking some ink from the side here. And then blend my ink again in the lid and then just flick from this side. Just because I want the sides a darker colour. And then I'll just come along the edge here. I almost want to leave a white. You can add the colour the same all the way through. I just want to leave sort of a, a whiter area in the middle look, if I show you. So I just want to deepen this side here. So again, you can just flick off. Make sure you don't go over your edge. And I'm, I'm happy with that. And that's all the ink I'm going to add. So I'm just going to spritz this ink and clean this up. Just because you know me, I need a nice clean space to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick, using my fan brush, a little bit of water, just to do a little bit of faux bleaching in those areas. And again, we'll mop that up. Now, as I say, I could have blended a couple of colours here. I could have just added one. And I'm just going to dry that. Again, at home, if you're batch card making these, you can leave that and let it dry naturally. Now, a little tip here. I'm going to take the masking tape off. Now, the Lavinia is lovely. It's really low tack. Look, it's coming off now. But a little tip for me, I would always suggest using your heat tool to dry your card because what it does is it just melts the, the glue on the back of this double-sided tape here, your low tack tape. And what it'll mean is it will come off even better. And so to me, you know me, belt and braces, I know the tape is going to come off easy anyway, but I might as well just use my heat tool. And there we go. We've got a lovely panel. Now, before I show you different ways of doing a panel, just to finish it off, for me, if I was making this into a card design, I'm just going to stamp our lovely, one of our lovely new stamps. And this is Logan as a silhouette. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'm just going to ink him up in black. Again, make sure I've got plenty of ink. He's a silhouette. And let's just pop him. Now, if you wanted, I want him to come right across the border. 
and if I just stamp him over that area where we left some white now it's up to you you could do your stamping inside the panel or as I'm doing here you can actually put your stamping coming over each edge and I think this works particularly well with silhouettes but again I'm just going to give that ink time to soak in because obviously we've got ink on there we've just added water on there lift him off and there we go he's absolutely beautiful so for me what I'm thinking is to finish off I would just put a little bit of ink on my mat and with my fan brush I'm just going to add a few little in the same colour just across you know I like my diagonals just a few just so that that white space look isn't completely white I love white space, but I like to just take the edge off it a little. And then the last thing we're going to do is add a design from these lovely new sentiment stickers. Now let me have a look. I, I like the colours. These silence, I think, goes. I think I'm going to go for silence. I just think that colour goes so well. And again, my little tip about just, I'm going to pop it on my scissors so I can place it because I'm thinking down here or I could put it there or actually does it look nice oh you see see that it's too far away isn't it that there's just not enough room think a smaller word oh you see now I'm I'm, I'm thinking I do this do you do this do you think do you know what I'm gonna go for destiny I'm gonna change my mind you know, the bit about actually making the design, I get done so quickly. And then the little bit about putting a sentiment sticker on takes me ages, but I like that. I think that for me, and I'm just going to add, now again, if you want, with your black fine liner, you can go along and just edge your panel. And I think we'll do that on this one. And again, there's lots of things you can do. You can do a squiggly border. You can add a little bit of heart monitor. You know, totally up to you. But that's just one panel. Now, I've done the panel across my card there. And what I want to show you, I've got some lovely samples here that I've made. Just showing you how we can take that a little bit further. So on this one, we added one colour. So here... I've blended three colours. I've gone for yellow, orange and red and I've flicked water at that. And I know you're shouting at me, they're too high, aren't they? You can't really see. So you need me to pull them down. That's better. So I say, you could make batch make these, couldn't you? I mean, I think that's lovely. I mean, imagine with all sorts of silhouettes that would look lovely over that. And these would be really good to have in ready for when you need a quick card. So that's the panel going across. But if you would like, I won't move these, you can make the panel coming down the card. So I've created one here where I've just put my masking tape down the side. And again, I've used the same three colours, the yellow, orange and red. And I've blended them in the way I did a, a video for you. We looked at blending the other week, didn't we? So you know how to blend these. But then I've put a stencil on top and added some brown ink through the stencil. So you can introduce a stencil and then take your masking tape off. So again, that's beautiful. These are ideal for men's cards. I mean, again, you could stamp Logan across that. So that's introducing stenciling onto your panel. But you can also introduce stamping onto your panel. So here... Can you tell I'm in a bit of a Christmas theme? I've used green sleeves, like we did on our first sample, but I've stamped using the large holly, and it's just that one stamp, the larger of the holly stamps, and I've used Shady Lane ink, and then I've just added some colour with a red Posca, some white Posca splats, and then I've taken the tape off, and I think that's fabulous for Christmas. All you need is a sentiment across there, and again, how beautiful is that? 
and perfect for batch card making. And if you want to take it one step further, I've created one here for you where we've got multiple panels. Because like I say, just think of the technique and put your own twist on it. So here, I've used my masking tape and I've got a narrower panel and a wider panel. And here, I've matched my larger holly stamp with the pound, the mini holly stamp. Same thing, Shady Lane or Shady Lady as it is in my head. And the red Posca pen, some white Posca splats, one of our lovely sentiment stickers. And it just makes a nice, different Christmas card. And guess what? These toppers are going to be made into Christmas cards when I finished making this. Although I think I might add one in my journal. I'm not sure which. Mm, I might have to think about that. So there are lots of things you can do with the idea of creating a panel. You can have so much fun with it. And lastly, I want to show you, remember, I'll just move these out of the way for the minute. We have our fabulous tapes. And if you're really in a rush to make a card design, why not create a panel using your tape? So all I've done here is my panel is my tape. I've added some lovely gold pen. This lovely calligrapher gold pen. Added some gold splats. Another one of our sentiment stickers. And there we go, ready to go. I need a quick card for a friend. And that's going to be perfect. So there are so many ways of taking that idea of making a panel. So if you need a quick card or, you know, a few ladies have been in touch recently and said that Mr Mojo's disappeared. Why not just cut yourself some pieces of card like this and create yourself some panels? You can do different sizes, across the card, down the card, add different inks. You don't even have to stamp them up. But honestly, by creating them, Mr Mojo will come back and he'll want to play. And then before you know it, you'll have lots of ideas of what stamps to add. You know, I mean, here, I can't wait to add some pastel pencil. And that's it. Mojo's returned. And before you know it, you'll have created lots of designs. So I'm hoping that inspires you. It's an old technique, as I say, but often we need just reminding of these old techniques and just put in a little bit of a new spin on it by maybe double panelling. Imagine, can you triple panel? That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? We've created a new technique there. There we go. Let's triple panel. If you make a card design, please tag me in because I'd love to see what you do. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you found this useful and thank you for all your lovely comments and the ideas you've given me for future Tuesdays. I hope the rest of your week is good. Have a lovely weekend when it arrives. You take care and have fun with your crafting because that's what it is. We're so lucky that we can have fun. You take care, everybody. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now. <laughs>